I went ahead and made a list of the apps and programs that I personally use to manage my money. I choose to use these products myself. I'm not sponsored to use them by any means. I actually like using them. I like the service they provide. So I figured it would be a good opportunity to provide information, maybe a review and a discussion about why I'm using them and what I like about them here on the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about one in particular. But before we get there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese, and today I'm going to be talking about the application I personally use to invest my money into the Australian share market. The platform I use is called Comsec. And before I go any further into what Comsec is and what it's all about, I just wanted to mention as well that there are lots of different alternatives to investing in the share market here in Australia, let alone the world. I'm not claiming that Comsec is the best by any means. I know there are lots of different alternatives where people will say there are better and worse alternatives to Comsec. That's the application I personally use, and you're about to find out why. So let's start by quickly giving a brief overview of what Comsec is. It's one of Australia's biggest trading platforms, and it allows you to invest your money by purchasing shares on the Australian share market, whilst also having some availability to purchase international shares as well. The platform also lets you trade options, such as buying calls and puts, but the discussion behind options trading is one that I'm definitely going to leave for another video. It's a big topic in itself. Comsec is owned, managed, and operated by the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, which is one of Australia's big four banks. And brokerage fees for Australian shares if you settle via your CDIA account, which is the account you set up through Comsec when you are planning to invest. A CDIA account is essentially where you put your money to then go and purchase shares, similar to how you would purchase cryptocurrency on an exchange. You put your money onto the exchange in your currency, and then you can trade and sell back into your currency on the platform. That's what a CDIA account is on Comsec. Anyway, your brokerage will be $10 for transactions up to and including $1,000, $19.95 for transactions over $1,000 and up to $10,000, $29.95 for transactions over $10,000 up to $25,000 and 0.12 of a percent for transactions over $25,000. And that's really the main important points worth mentioning regarding what the platform is, how it operates and what its intended purpose is for. In a single sentence, my review and and the way I would summarize the platform overall is good for its intended purpose. Yeah good for its intended purpose. It has a great app for mobile devices. The website itself is also really good for whenever you're purchasing shares using online banking and all of your holdings, all of the information about your portfolio is displayed pretty easily on the actual platform itself and it's quite easy and intuitive to use. Their support system is also very, very good. Lots of people comment on how good the support system is. I myself have needed to contact their support team a couple of times and never once had an issue and my, my issues have always been resolved pretty quickly. One feature I really like about the platform, and I know it's definitely not exclusive to Comsec itself, but it's a really great feature to have. You can purchase shares in advance of actually having the funds in your CDIA account, meaning I can go buy shares if a good opportunity comes up where they're kind of on sale and I want to invest my money into it. I then have two days to put the relevant funds into that account. This also means that I can leave my money sitting in my bank account. Personally, I leave my money in my offset account because I've got a mortgage and I'm offsetting the interest I pay to the bank by having my money in that offset account. So I don't need to leave funds permanently in my CDIA account and worry about transfer times or worry about missing out on an opportunity because they let you pre-purchase the shares without having the funds directly in the account that it's gonna be withdrawn from. And one feature which I think is really underrated is that it allows you to have joint accounts with your partner so you can invest together over periods of time. I actually have a group of friends who are using this setup where both of them put 50-50 into this joint account and they don't have to manage separate accounts. It's all managed within one account and both of their names are on it, which is a great thing as well because it just adds a level of simplicity to how you do your business in terms of investing into, in this instance, the share market. Personally, I think for long-term investors, this platform is excellent because realistically, the Commonwealth Bank of Australia isn't going to go broke anytime soon. If they go broke, you're going to have bigger problems to be worrying about. They're probably the last bank in Australia to go broke. On top of that, the longevity of this platform is probably going to stay and remain at the quality that it's at, if not only get better. So I would highly recommend it for people who are in the game for the long term, who are planning to invest semi-frequently. I'm investing once a year at the moment. And at the moment, I don't see myself going to any other platform based on a small few number of dollars in terms of brokerage fees, which I'm about to talk about now. That's basically the only gripe that people have with Comsec from what I've seen is that the brokerage fees are generally higher than other alternatives. The trading fees are definitely called out as being expensive 
expensive, but when you compare them to some of the other big banks trading platforms, they are relatively comparable here in Australia. And this is where you really have to weigh it up. I personally believe that Comsec have a better app than other alternatives. I believe that it works really well and I feel quite secure investing my money through their platform. You really have to weigh up if saving a few extra dollars here and there on brokerage is going to be a massive difference enough for you to give up that security or give up that consistency. Personally, I don't think it's worth it, especially if you're someone who's only investing small amounts over long periods of time. If you're a day trader, you're probably watching this video and I don't know why you're wasting your time. Just keep in mind that this is completely subjective. This platform meets my investing needs where I'm currently investing once per year, a lump sum of money into big exposure ETFs. ETFs that have large diversity, things that are going to grow gradually over time based on the projections and models. I'm not investing into specific stocks heavily. I have purchased somewhat, some fun ones to play around with, but I'm not investing into anything that I'm expecting to hit the moon anytime soon. I'm not day trading and I'm kind of setting and forgetting. If you're interested, I'm currently investing specifically into VAS and VDHD, which I'll talk about more in another video if I haven't already. Just keep that in mind that for long-term growth, long-term investing, this is the type of platform that I personally am choosing to use. I guess it just depends on the type of services you're willing to pay for. Comsec being reliable, consistent, pretty safe in terms of where your money's being held. They meet all of the criteria I need to be able to invest over the long term and feel comfortable with where my money's going. That's pretty much it. That's the main consideration I took into place when I was trying to choose where I wanted to put my money. And so far being having invested for the last three to five years now, I'm feeling pretty good about where my money's sitting. And that pretty much brings me to the end of today's video. I've talked about what Comsec is, what the features of the platform are and why I personally choose to use it and what I like about it in particular. Hopefully, if you're someone who's thinking about starting to invest or you're someone who doesn't like the platform you're using and are looking for alternatives, hopefully I've given you some insight into what Comsec is, why I like it, and why you should consider potentially using it for investing specifically into the Australian share market. With that being said, I'll leave you there. I have nothing else to sell you today. So if you did enjoy it, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Make sure to turn bell notifications on so you don't miss any of the videos I release. And as always, have a good day, have a good week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.